In this episode of Creative Tools, we're going to look at mini HUDs, shapes, and structures. First thing you'll need to get this going is the mini HUD mod by Massity. Uh, there's going to be a link down to that in the video description, and there will be other videos on YouTube explaining how to get that installed and configured using Fabric. We're just going to be covering the uh, shape renderer for shapes and for structures. For those of you who don't know, what you see on the screen right now is three spheres. That is the uh, despawn sphere, is the red one, the uh, can despawn sphere, and the can spawn sphere is the center green one. This is really useful for if you're designing a mob farm and you want to see uh, what's the area where mobs can spawn. So they spawn outside of this green sphere. The area where they won't despawn, that's inside this yellow sphere. And then the full area where mobs can spawn at all, and that's inside this sphere that's red, that's 128 black radius. And the way that you can get that is stand where you want your AFK spot to be. Open up your mini HUD menu. Go to the shapes tab, and then we're going to pull this drop down and we see all these different options we can use. Let's just use the despawn sphere as an example. I'm gonna hit add shape, turn on enabled, and then when I exit out, it's going to have placed that sphere with the center at where I was standing. Builders can also use this tool if you wanna make a sphere or a circle and you don't wanna to have to count out the blocks. You can drop this down and then you can do a sphere block based. We're gonna add shape, turn it on, and then when we hit configure here, we have our radius, so we can increase that or decrease that to whatever size we want. And when I exit out, I have a custom size sphere here. So I can now build around the edges of the outside of the sphere if I wanted to make, uh, you know, maybe you want to make a dome or a snow globe or something. I don't know. I'm not a builder, so do whatever you want with this thing. There are also a couple of tools here like box, circle, cylinder, same thing. Select it, add it, turn it on, configure it. And then, you know, here we'll increase our height and we'll increase our radius. Actually, we'll decrease our radius. And then now we can see we have this shape and it just renders on the screen. There's no block interaction, but now it's just kind of a guide for whatever we wanted to uh, check out the radius of. And the second thing I wanted to cover is the structure renderer. So here we have a witch hut here and I want to see what the bounding box is of this witch hut. I can open my mini HUD. And then I can come down here over to the structures tab and I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to look for witch hut, turn the false to true. And then when I escape out, I can see that's the um, bounding box of the witch hut that's rendered for me right there. There's a bunch of different structures you can do with this tab, such as ocean monuments. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to find my ocean monument in my list. Exit out. Now I can see the bounding box, of that ocean monument. We can turn on the bounding box for pillager outpost or the bounding box of nether fortress structures, or even naturally generated villages. Unfortunately, this doesn't work for newly created villages where you've moved a villager somewhere else and given him a bed and a workstation, stuff like that. But, uh, so it doesn't really serve much purpose here. Those first three are really your main ones to see the bounding boxes of where those things can spawn. So that is the mini HUD mod by Massity that can make your custom shapes, such as this uh, personal space bubble that I have here. And all it does is just renders on screen. It doesn't actually do anything within the game. It's guides that can show you uh, what areas you want to work around. So have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.